You've noticed throughout all of the clips that I've been playing that I'm using vibrato. Vibrato is just a term that we use to describe the sound when it vibrates. If you see a string player playing a violin, you see their hand shaking, they're making vibrato and you can actually see their vibrato. Bassoons use vibrato. We don't use it all the time, like a flute. If we use it all the time, then we kind of start to sound like nanny goats. Bad thing on bassoon. Vibrato should be used more as just a colorful addition to the tone. It's helpful in things like this where we have echo sections. We can use possibly more vibrato the first time, which creates more intensity, and then less vibrato when we're playing it softer, and it creates a more relaxed sound. I like to think of vibrato more in terms of intensity than really shaking the sound. When you play notes, and hopefully if you go back and listen to how I've been using my vibrato, vibrato, I'm not using it on every single note. We like to think of tension and release, and the vibrato helps with the release. So in all of these slurs that we've doing, been doing, I'll take the first one, the D to a B. I use the vibrato on the release end. If I were to use it on the intense and if I were to use it on both notes, it kind of takes away some of the some of the tension in the release. And then it just starts to sound like a goat, and if I were to use it on all of them, just because it's fun, you sound like, you know, a record player from way back when that it's not a good thing. So be careful when you're using vibrato. You notice it and it's very noticeable, but it's not on every note. So just pick particular notes that you wanna use it on and use it on those. One more comment about vibrato. We've talked a lot about tapers, and when you're using vibrato, it's great. Normally the last note of a phrase is a release note, and so normally you are gonna use some vibrato. But it is really hard to taper while vibrating. If I am to play a G, and use vibrato and try to taper. You don't really get that nice ending. So it's important to stop the vibrato before you finish the taper. So you're gonna start it with the vibrato and then your vibrato is going to get slower and slower and even out. And that's gonna help you make really good tapers. It's kind of like if you are humming and you say, hum, that M is when you end your vibrato. So vibrato is kind of the, the next step to musicianship. You can use it anywhere, you can use it on anything, but when you're using it, make sure that you're using it thoughtfully and not just putting it everywhere. That does not do us any favors and it makes us sound like goats. We don't want to sound like goats. So use it just in musical instances where you decide that you want to use it and be sure to cut it off for those tapers. That'll help your tapers to end.